morning everyone today we are going to learn the chapter electricity in that the topics which we are going to cover is electric current potential difference resistance then electric charge ohms law and factors affecting the resistance so let us begin the first topic is electric city electricity is nothing but the flow of electrons as we say or flow of charges we say so there are two types of charges as we know one is called as positive charge and one more is called as negative charge so this charged uh, particles uh, will be given with a name called a coulomb so that is a unit of charge the quantity of charge is called as coulomb and uh, the next thing which we should know in this topic before uh, beginning the actual topic is some terms which you already learned in your previous classes the first term is what is conductor conductor is nothing but a wire a conductor is nothing but a wire or a conductor which allows the charges to flow through them is called as a conductor which you already know about it so conductor then is called insulator insulator is a substance or a material which will not allow the current to pass through them so that is called as insulator okay so coming back to the topic uh, what is electricity electricity is nothing but the flow of electrons or electric current we say electricity or electric current is nothing but the flow of electrons or flow of charges so this is the definition of electric current the symbol which we use to show the electric current is i i is a symbol for electric current and we write it in the form of a formula i is equal to q divided by t so what is i i is electric current what is q q is the quantity of charge i told you that time it is quantity q is nothing but the charge quantity and t is the time so this is a formula which we should know and then the question comes what is the unit of electric current the unit of electric current the electric current is measured in amperes so it is measured in ampere and then then the next question is what is 1 ampere to understand what is 1 ampere or to write we should apply uh, the values in the formula that is in the place of q i write 1 coulomb in the place of time i write 1 second then this term i term will become 1 ampere so how to how to state in a statement that is if 1 coulomb of charge is flowing through a wire in 1 second then it is called as 1 ampere of current so define 1 ampere is 1 coulomb of charge is flowing in 1 second okay after knowing about the unit of electric current the next one is the instrument which we use to measure the electric current the instrument which we use to measure the electric current is ammeter the ammeter is the instrument which we use to measure the electric current okay the next uh, topic is potential difference now what is potential difference potential difference is not the work done to take the charge from one point to another potential difference and for that the symbol is v for electric current the symbol is i for potential difference the symbol is v now what is potential potential is nothing but the work done the work done the difference difference is between the points we always find the difference between the two values so it is point between the two points so what is potential difference potential difference is a work done to take the charge from one point to the another is called as potential difference understood okay now the symbol for that is v and if you write the formula v is equal to w by q v is equal to w v is potential difference w is a work done and q is the quantity of charge now 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 the next thing is what is the unit of potential difference the unit of potential difference is volt now what is 1 volt 1 volt is 1v 1 volt is equal to in the formula again i am writing the values w is there w is nothing but work done it is measured in joule 1 joule divided by 1 coulomb so if i write 1 joule by 1 coulomb i will get the value v is 1 volt so now to define in the statement if 1 joule of work is done to take the charge of one coulomb from one point to the another then 
the potential difference is said to be 1 volt. So that is potential difference. The next thing is the instrument which we use to measure the potential difference is voltmeter. Okay. After knowing about the electric current and potential difference, there is a relationship which is given with the formula that is uh, not a formula, a law which is called as a Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Let us see what is Ohm's law. Ohm's law. So Ohm's law states that at constant temperature, the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference. We already know the symbol of current is I and potential difference is V. The quantity or the current, the current which is flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference. This is a symbol. So I is proportional to V or we can say V is proportional to I also. Then uh, if we write this in the form of a, this law in the form of a formula, we have to remove this uh, symbol of proportionality. So I will write it again uh, V proportional to I will write. It's the same, not the same, but still V is equal to. So this symbol of proportionality I will remove. To remove the symbol of proportionality I will put equal to and I will put one constant that is R is a constant I. So what I will get? We will write it like V is equal to I R is a formula of Ohm's law. So this R is nothing but the resistance, I is nothing but the current and V is nothing but the potential difference. Uh, regarding this, uh, the graph is also there, uh, straight line graph V versus I. So you will get a straight line graph. Based on that, there are some problems using the, uh, uh, using the graph and also using the formula that you need to learn. Okay, fine. Next. Next we are going to learn about this term which is R. This is also called as the resistance. Now what is resistance? The symbol for resistance is R. So the R uh, means nothing but the obstruction for the flow of charges. The obstruction for the flow of charges is called as resistance. And it is given with a symbol R. And uh, the next thing is the formula. If we write this only, the Ohm's law only, you can modify the, uh, the formula only, you can modify. What you can write? V is equal to I R. R is equal to V by I. So R is equal to V by I is a formula for resistance. Okay, next is uh, the unit of resistance is Ohm. The, the symbol for that is like this. Or you can write OHM. Some will write OHM, some will put the symbol. The symbol you should know. This is Ohm. Okay, next is what is 1 Ohm? Again, you have to write here 1 volt of potential difference is there between the two points with the current of 1 ampere then we say that the resistance is 1 ohm. So uh, then, then the instrument which we use to measure the resistance. Uh, there are two instruments. One is called as uh, uh, a rheostat which is uh, giving a variable resistance. Means you can vary the resistance which you can see in the lab. Uh, science lab you can observe this instrument. Then one more is there that is the resistor. Resistor is again one more device uh, which is used uh, to uh, have a resistance, to create a resistance in a circuit. Okay. Next, let us see, uh, before going to this topic, there are some terms. Uh, first one is, what is electric circuit? What is electric circuit? Electric circuit is nothing but the path through which the electric current flows. You take a bulb, you take a battery, you take a key. This is a simple circuit. This is called as a electric circuit. The electric circuit is a path through which the electric current flows through the different components. This is a bulb, this is a key, this is a battery. And there are two types of circuits. One is called an open circuit, which is you know like this, somewhere it is open. And one more is there is closed circuit. Everything is closed, like a loop. So that's called as a closed circuit. So that point also you should need to know. Then again, uh, in the under uh, charges, you should need to know uh, the coulomb. What is uh, n is equal to q by e? The formula is there that you can use, and you can again uh, learn what is one coulomb of charge. And in one coulomb of charge, how many electrons are there? And uh, there are small, small you know, uh, points which you need to know, so that you please uh, 
learn in detail when you see that no i open the textbook and can learn next thing is what are the factors affecting the resistance what are the factors affecting the factors affecting the resistance the first one is area of cross section area of cross section the second one is the length i just you know jumbled it first was the length then was the area of cross section third one is material you can write anyhow no problem okay so area of cross section that is r is proportional to 1 by a the area of cross section is inversely proportional to the resistance and also the length l the length resistance is directly proportional to the length and material is depend on the material which material you take copper you take and iron you take so different materials based on their property it also vary so this is r is equal r is proportional to 1 by a r is proportional to l and if you uh, use the two, um, these two formulas together r is proportional to l by a then you sim uh, remove the symbol of proportionality uh, i can put one constant rho l by a so you get a formula r is equal to rho l by a so electricity potential difference resistance ohms law and the factors affecting resistance so these points please uh, learn again revise it thank you